episode of Night and Day. I think you best go. Why don't you call the police? Something to do with a certain Jane Harper? We're moving to a hotel. Well, if you promise to be more than two months, I can rent out your rooms. Well, I like being around them. Wish I had their memories. We have decided to accept your offer. Mike! I think that I killed her. around properly so it can be dangerous but that's good isn't it Crime Central presents a hard-hitting, in-depth look at the last known movements of Greenwich's missing teen, Jane Harper. There might be something you've forgotten. Nobody knows the truth about Jane. Do you think whoever put these up knows any more than the makers of that stupid video? Are you going to watch it, the reconstruction? If I had my way, nobody would watch it. Honestly, if that injunction doesn't come through, I'm going to march down there and stop the reconstruction myself. I see you've come to dazzle me with your sparkling conversation as usual. On your bike, ape boy. Well, the sooner they're taken down, the better. You just can't get away from them. They're everywhere. I wonder who did it. Is he all right? And good evening to you too, Mother. Father. He must be so frightened. Did he say where he was going? No. But then he's never been much of a talker, has he? Though today his vocabulary was particularly limited. I didn't even get a grunt out of him. Oh, heavens above. Look at all this ridiculous stuff. You know, it's not going to be just some innocent little TV program. They're going to be baying after Josh's blood. I'm blowed if I'm going to let them do it. Hello, is that St. Louise's nursing home? I've got a little something here you may be interested in. Josh, Josh, I'm scared. Be scared! I'm not scared of you, I'm scared for you. I'm scared what those idiots will do when they see that stupid program. I know you're not dangerous, but that's what they're going to think. That's what they're going to think when they've seen that stupid reconstruction. That's what they want to believe. Believe? You're a good man. 
You must stay away from the Nautilus. They'll tear you apart if they see you. I'm going to make sure nobody hurts you. The night she disappeared, I had her back out. I think I've killed her. You know, getting rid of her. Well, she's the major shareholder, you know that. Oh, yeah, and whose fault was that? Not these days, you're so... blameless. What? Rachel might think that she's using me. But I'm just biding my time. When this business is booming again, I'm just going to give her her marching orders. You know you're not supposed to be here. I seem to recall discharging you of your position last week, Mrs. Brick. If you're not out of here in ten seconds, I shall have you forcibly evicted. Ten? I have every right Nine. to be here. Eight? I'll be back later, Seven. darling. Six? Mm hmm. You're looking a bit off colour today, Einstein. Alex, you scared me. Well, you're going down to the Nautilus to watch this reconstruction tape with everyone else? Yeah. Well, Roxy's dragging me to it. She thinks it's a good idea. It'll be, uh... just like watching the footy. They should form a great lynch mob. Especially if they do really find out the truth. I won't harm a hair on your head, Josh. And I know what it's like to be blamed for things that you haven't done. After the break, Crime Central presents a reconstruction of the last known movements of Greenwich missing teen Jane Harper. Don't go away. Cheers, Alex. There you go. Damn solicitor, he's not answering his phone. Oh. Honestly, what is the point of paying all that money for an injunction? It doesn't do anything. I don't see why you need to stop it. No, I know you're scared, but we're all here for you, darling. I'm not scared, I'm angry. <clears throat> well, all right, yes, I am scared, but not for me, for Josh. It was based on witness evidence. Yes, of course, witnesses. A reconstruction based on what people said they saw doesn't mean they were telling the truth. You're scared of the unknown. Look, can't you see, darling, that this could help us find the truth, but not only that, we could resolve things. Anything, Alex? Yeah. Um, back soon. I don't think anyone's going to do anything silly. I mean, they wouldn't have made the reconstruction if they didn't think it would help. That's probably why you're having so much trouble stopping it. Now, why don't you want the truth? Because it served no other purpose than to glamorize my daughter's disappearance. The night she disappeared, I had a blackout. I think I could kill her. As far as I'm concerned, the only person who knows what happened to Jane is Jane. For Natalie Harper. Is she here? Um. Dr. Harper. My name is Gabriel. Gabriel Heisman. I've come to ask you a few questions about your daughter. I don't believe this. The network's out too. I think it's just as to think of the whole world plunged into darkness. Are out. The television isn't going to work, is it? <sighs> Have you seen Holly? Holly. Holly Curran. <sighs> Josh, did you see her leave this? <sighs> Redhead, your friend.
What did you say you did? I didn't. But since you've asked, I used to be an investigative reporter back in the States. I'm writing a report on the truth behind the truth. I'm going to find out what really happened to the whole community. Like the reconstruction? Something like that. Only I want to find out a little bit about everyone. Find the missing pieces to the puzzle. I tried to ring, but apparently all the phone lines are down. I reckon it's a storm. It looks like setting for the night. It's a low pressure system moving up from the Atlantic. Looks like it's going to bring away. Fee, Fiona, you all right? Yeah. I think Holly left it. What, you didn't open it? Oh, it was what sort of... I thought she would come back. I still do. Well, what's it say? Strange. Do you get on well with your sister? We're pretty close, yeah. Are they happy? For family. You know they fight a lot. Well, uh, what family doesn't? No family's perfect. They have their on days and their off days. Do you get stressed at work, Michael? No, uh, not anymore. No. I used to, but family's more important. So everyone is happy, happy, happy. Cold for loitering. Ryan, come here. You could catch your death. <laughs> Where have you been? It's a long story. Well, we've got all night, haven't we, darling? If you're sitting comfortably, I followed you to the old people's home. Well, now, I'm sure we don't need to bother our friend with this, now, do we? Oh, don't mind me. Carry on. Uh, no, Gabriel, really, um... I'm afraid you'll find absolutely nothing out of the ordinary here, and there's really no point in you writing anything down, is there? She followed Josh there, didn't you, Mother? She likes to follow him around. And so I found out where he worked, and tonight I went there and got him fired. Right. Well, darling, I'm sure you had your reasons, didn't you, Ryan, darling? Uh, Gabriel, please, if you, if you wouldn't mind, I, I really think I need some time alone with my family right now. Right. Another time, Ryan. Thank you, sir. So, what kind of reporter are you, anyway? Polly's gone, Bob. She's disappeared. I don't know what to do. I didn't look after her properly, and now she's gone. Oh, baby girl. Come here. Oh, Steph, she'll be back. I mean, she's a smart girl, eh? She left this. It's for you. He says I'm, I'm to open it if she doesn't come back. Alex. Don't be silly, Roxy. She's gone walk about, that's all. I bet she's back at home by now. Oh, come on, at least give her a chance to come back. Oh, wait, it's just a prank. Well, you know Holly. Yeah, I do. You're right. No. Do I attempt fate, do I? Oh, um, this is, uh, Gabriel. I... I... I should be going, too. Good night. I'm sure I'll see you there. Mm. 
Do you mind if I um <laughs> Why did you come here just a few weeks after Jane left? Pretty suspicious, don't you think? Not at all. Malcolm left and they needed to replace him. Who's Malcolm and where is he? I don't know where he went. He was the caretaker. Funny that. First... Jane... Then Malcolm. And Holly's not back yet, I suspect. People just disappear around here. Especially people from the halfway house. Don't you find that a bit spooky, Stephanie? It's a coincidence. I should check on Josh. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. I tried so hard to protect you. I had no idea I'd have to protect you from my own son. He had no right. He... Josh? Can you hear me? Josh, you're having an episode. This is one of your blackouts. Who are you? I'm Jane. I'm Jane Harper. The night she disappeared, I had a blackout. I had a blackout. I had a blackout. I think that I killed her. I think that I killed her. I think that I killed her. <laughs> Graveyards, they give me the creeps. What are you doing? You loved her, didn't you? Loved her. I talk to them. I tell them what's going on. But all they do is lie. Every time I find something out. Something else comes in its place. Another lie. They all want to know where you are. You lied to those people. You lied to them and you lost Josh his job. I never expected that even from you. Natalie, just think about what you're saying. You have never been right, Brian, and as far as I'm concerned, you are no longer my son. Oh, well, it suits us both just fine. Because as far as I'm concerned, you have never been much of a mother. Great. So, I suppose those are for me. Josh is moving in. I just can't stand this anymore. What do you expect me to do? Move back in here and leave Ryan out on the street? I want a divorce. Good. I'm going to live with Josh. Do you want Jane to come back? Yes. Do you like Jane's boyfriend, Josh Alexander? He's a nice-looking kid. I never meant them any harm. Do you think Josh killed Jane? No. No, he wouldn't. I swear it. Jane had an abortion. You did good. I know what you're doing. I see. You blame yourself for Jane. All this dressing up. 
is because you want to suffer the way she suffered. You want to feel what Jane felt. Was Josh the father of Jane's baby? No. I don't know. He keeps having these blackouts, so he doesn't know either. And you still say it's not him? Something bothering you? Mike's come up with this plan to get Rachel Colburn out of his business. Second only to fraud. And she's never going to buy it, not in a million years. I'm here for you. Who are you? It's me, Josh. I'm Jane. And I'm here for you. Are you a woman of science? No. But I do know things. I know that you're in a blackout right now. And I know that I can help you if you let me. Will you let me help you, Josh? Quickly. Secrets make you lighter. Didn't you know? They give you power over people. So, um, the preacher woman, Stephanie, is she ever lying? She's the biggest liar of them all. Do you miss Malcolm? I know he's disappeared, Holly. Did Josh have anything to do with that? No, not Josh. I'll give you two words to the wise. Jane was lovely, but she was spoilt, Gabriel. I mean, I wouldn't treat any daughter of mine that way. She didn't turn out anything near what she could have. I'm sure most people won't tell you that. Some people don't think that's true. I'm really glad you're here. We need to find out the truth. Did you kill Malcolm Burns? What? Malcolm Burns is buried in the graveyard, and you killed him. What? I'm sorry, but you, you can't just march in here and, and accuse Alex of some random murder. I mean, this is our home. Alex, you know you know the truth. So say it. No. No. Just tell me everything you know. I don't know anything, I swear it. You poisoned my dog, didn't you? You pushing me, mate? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Josh kid, he's trouble. But all I could think of was getting back to my family, you know, to protect you. I should have known you'd lie again. Oh, for goodness sake, you lied about Jennifer. What else have you got hidden away there, Alex? Where were you on the night that Jane disappeared? It was my daughter's birthday. What, white I brought? Yeah, I, I think I prefer red, actually. Fiona, you'll drink red, won't you? Oh, that'd be lovely, thanks. But I haven't got any. <laughs> oh, no. white's fine if it's a hassle. No, I'll, I'll, I'll go and get some. 
But you don't like red, Alex. I know what you're up to. You're gonna go check on the girls, aren't you? Aww. I can sniff out betrayal at 20 paces, Mrs. Brake. I've already called in the accountants. When I amass sufficient evidence, the matter will purely be in the hands of the police. And when your husband is spending the night in jail, he'll wish he had never made such a mistake, won't he? Well, surely there's no need. A business partnership is like a marriage, Mrs. Brake. Without trust, it is neither binding nor effective. He meant well. He, he only did it for me. We're, we're so sorry. Oh, sorry is just a two-syllable word. It hardly holds to account the very serious implications of the wrong your husband has done to me. Actions talk louder than words. I beg of you. I beg of you, please don't tell the police. <laughs> you lied to me, didn't you? Alex, did you meet Jane? Well, she wasn't at the party, was she? She's not exactly here to lie about it. Were you having an affair with her? Holly has to say about this, don't you? No. <laughs> Rachel Colgren. Is she here? Who are you? How dare you barge in on our family home? They played it just the way you planned it, didn't they? You were waiting for them to foul it up. Like you were waiting for Sam to give up on his kids. What's he talking about? I couldn't possibly imagine. You know full well, Miss Colby. The business. Had she told you why she set it up? You've done it again, haven't you? After everything you said, you haven't changed a bit. He's wrong, Samuel. He's got me mistaken for somebody Some else. Some people face the truth. Others run from it. You are a runner, Miss Colgren. You run. You do believe me, Samuel. I thought you wanted to be part of our family. There's only one person you care about, and that's yourself. You can stick your job. I don't want to see you again. I only did it because I love you. That old trick. Save it for someone who cares. See? This is our room now. I used my powers of persuasion. I think she's even going to drop the charges. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. Thank you. You owe me a sunset.
Jeff's a good man. I can't do this to him. He doesn't deserve you. <sighs> no. You like chocolates. You like balmy evenings. You love soft, gentle caresses. When I see you with him, it tortures me. He doesn't even put his arms around you when you come into a room. Gabriel, don't, don't. Put your hands off her, Mike. Oh, no. You know, she used to say, just let the truth out. Because what is the point of being a good human being if you can't tell the truth? <laughs> Mum, what's wrong? Mum. No, I'm just happy, 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 that's all. You're all right, love. Do you want to go and have a bit of a lie down? Jane, tell me why! Tell me! You summoned me. You wanted to know if people were ready for the truth. Is anybody ever really ready for the truth, Jane? in the community. A scapegoat to represent a mass of wrongs. Watch the enraged mob baying for blood. Any blood. I know Kung Fu! Yeah, but this is a lynch mob, Jimmy. Lynches. Doesn't stop me kicking a bit first, does it? Tom! You're either with us or against us. But ancient tribal sacrifices were in the place of a law that decided guilt through judge and jury. Our modern society has this justice system. How then can we justify this angry, enraged mob violence and revenge attacks? Where's Josh? I think he went to the church. Dad, you can't get him in there. Churches are for the oppressed to take refuge. Come on. Josh! I'm all done here. I'm thinking you don't want to say goodbye either. You could stay. You could come with me. Gabriel. Someone like you. You help make the world make sense. What about the truth? The love is the truth. Jane's truth is more horrible than you could ever imagine. I don't want to share that with you. And I don't want you to lie to yourself. You love me, not him. I can't. I do love Mike. I've been with him for 20 years. Came first, Gabriel. It has to be him. You can't handle the truth. you 
Josh. And I don't think they're going to give up till they found you. I was watching you just now in the graveyard. And you were carrying something. What was it? Who are you? I'm Jane. I had a daughter once. But she's dead now. She's gone, but oh, I loved her. I held her when she was born. She was so small. She was so blonde and she was so unlike me or Duncan. And I vowed and I swore that I would love her anyway. I loved her more than I've ever loved anything. Say it, okay? Okay. Well, you asked me to. I had an affair with Jade. But look, I, I, I didn't kill her. Look, I swear, come on, I, would, I wouldn't do that. You know me, I wouldn't. Gabriel came over while you were out. What? No, it's okay. He wanted me to go with him. But I said no. I love you, Mike. I know the might that I love is in there somewhere. I just, just need to help him out. Where's Gabriel now? We found out what he wanted and he left. Now look, don't go after him. I am strong for you. I've been scared of the truth. But I'm going to show you just how strong I really am. I can never love you. Not the 
way you want me to. I know what happened, Dr. Harper. I know the truth about everything. How do you know? How do you know anything? You've only been here a few hours. I know what happened to Jane. And I know why. I don't want your truth. You just bring pain. Central's reconstruction tonight. Instead, it will be replaced by a timeless classic. So put your feet up, sit back, and enjoy tonight's feature film, The Long Big Chill Goodnight. Well, well, that's good news at least. <laughs> Nasty business, this. What's what are you doing? The strangers poking their noses into home matters, you know. The... Some things should just remain sacred. You must be thrilled, Nat. Oh, uh, yeah. Um... Just need a drink of water. Yeah. Oh, come here. I need one of your big bear hugs. That's on this one, huh? You owe me a sunset. I just love you, that's all. I need my big bear hug. I only went to the toilet. <laughs> Wasn't gone forever. Huh. The information is right under the nose. The question is not where to look, but how to look. I need my husband found so desperately. Oh. Evening, Mr. Wells. Miss Doyle. Did you see they cancelled it? I oh, know, sweetheart, but do you know, sometimes some things are just best left for the people who should see them, you know? Oh, well, I guess it's hard to keep a good truth down. You know, the sooner or later the truth will out. Sound familiar? It was you, wasn't it? <clears throat> well, I'll be mother. And, uh, I'll be wife, too. I'm sorry, both of you. I know I've probably been intolerable. Um, I'd like it very much if you both came back, if you still wanted to. Well, I, <laughs> I think we'd like nothing more. At least you've stopped dressing in your Barbie wardrobe. <laughs> uh, what should I do with these? Well, you can put them back in our room, where they belong. I'm not sleeping in Jane's room anymore. I think I'll just go and cancel that taxi then. <laughs> Actually, um, I'd better tell him to wait to take my things. Why? I got Josh sacked, Mother. I know you'll probably want me lynched, able to my cane and so on. Because you are my special boy, Ryan. <laughs> Mother. Say You're right. Do you know? I don't know. I've... 
feel a bit off color yeah you know fiona i've not been myself recently me neither no, there is trouble don't worry i'm not going to say anything should never let rachel come between us for this long it, it, mike you don't have to How refreshing to see you taking a well-earned break. Rachel, I've had enough of this. I'd rather crawl through the gutter than work for you. So you can stick your job because don't want it anymore. Michael, I hardly think that's going to be necessary. Heartbreaking, though it is. I really don't want to be part of your boring little operation anymore. Oh, well... That's all right, then. Does that mean I'm sacked? Yes, Samuel. Please try to grin slightly less. Josh? Josh? Where have you been? Josh, come on. What have you been doing? Look at your jeans. Natalie. It's Dr. Harper. My name is Dr. Harper. And, and you have been having a blackout. And you're not sure what it is you've been doing. I don't know what I've done. I've, uh, I've got some tablets for you. They're very strong. But uh, they will stop these blackouts. And that is what you want. Isn't it? The night she disappeared, I had a blackout. I think that I killed her. I think that I killed her. that name seem familiar to you? Maybe. 